Hi students, now very most important topic that is hyperconjugation. Hyperconjugation effect. What is hyperconjugation? What is hyperconjugation? The delocalization of sigma electrons or lone pair of electrons into a adjacent p orbital is called hyperconjugation. Hyperconjugation means the delocalization of sigma electrons or lone pair of electrons into a adjacent p orbital is called hyperconjugation. So, one more point student, hyperconjugation is a permanent effect. Hyperconjugation is a permanent effect. It involves only carbon and hydrogen sigma electrons. Here it involves only carbon and hydrogen sigma electrons. In a hyperconjugation effect, partially transfer of sigma electrons. In hyperconjugation effect, partially transfer of sigma electrons. In hyperconjugation effect, partially transfer of sigma electrons. Sigma electrons. And next point, students. Now here, hyperconjugation, hyperconjugation effect also known as hyperconjugation effect also known as sigma pi conjugation or no bond resonance or northern baker effect hyperconjugation effect also known as another name is called sigma pi conjugation or no bond resonance these also these also known as hyperconjugation effect hyperconjugation effect also known as sigma pi conjugation sigma and sigma pi conjugation and no bond resonance effect or northern and baker effect so now take the here According to the hyperconjugation, now take the example that is CH3 CH2 plus ethyl carbocation. It is the ethyl carbocation. This ethyl carbocation here first this CH2 plus this carbocation CH2 plus in CH2 plus carbon undergoes sp2 hybridization. In CH3 carbon undergoes sp3 hybridization. So here two types of hybridization. In CH2 plus carbon undergoes sp2 hybridization. In CH3 carbon undergoes sp3 hybridization. So now here, here this CH2 plus here one vacant p orbital is present. In CH2 plus one vacant p orbital is present. We can write here C C H3. We can write C H3. This carbon having three hydrogens, so one, two, three hydrogen single bond, then CH2 plus. CH2 plus. So, uh, what is the hyperconjugation here? The transfer of electrons, the, the de sorry, the delocalization of sigma electrons or lone pair of electrons, electrons into a adjacent p orbital. This adjacent p orbital is vacant p orbital. So, here simple trick student, this transfer of electron, this transfer of sigma electrons, directly transfer of sigma electron. This is sigma bond, this single bond is called sigma bond. This sigma single bond it contain two electron, this complete two electron transfer towards the right hand side. So, what happened? This is CH2 double bond CH2. Product is CH2 double bond CH2 here. H plus E, H plus e is deficiency, proton only proton is left. So, here complete transfer of electron towards CH2 plus. So, this CH2 plus is converted, this single bond is converted into double bond. So, this is the hyperconjugation effect. So, hyperconjugation means complete transfer of electron towards empty orbital side, that is the empty vacant p orbital, empty vacant p orbital or vac empty vacant p orbital. So, now here write the mechanism, this carbon having three hydrogens. 3 hydrogens then CH2 plus this carbocation. So, this is carbocation beside carbon is called alpha carbon. This positive charge next to carbon is called alpha carbon. This alpha carbon contain 3 alpha hydrogens are there. So, now here what happened that here in first step is now bond breaking here. This bond breaking, bond breaking, this here bond breaking. So, now what happened that is carbon getting negative charge, this carbon getting negative charge then after that CH2 plus as usual positive charge already is there. So, here bond breaking first step is bond breaking. So, here carbon getting negative charge then H plus as usual, H plus left this hydrogen H plus is left. So, what happened this next one next step is what happened here. So, here this negative charge is positive charge one negative charge is there one positive charge is there both are combining to form a double bond one negative charge and positive charge make a one single bond already one single bond is there the single bond is converted into double bond. So, we can write CH2 double bond CH2, CH2 double bond CH2. This is called 
sigma pi what is called that is sigma sigma pi conjugation this is called sigma pi conjugation so here in first step is in first step is bond breaking to form after that so intermediate compound is carbon negative carbon getting negative charge then this carbon getting already positive charges there carbon having already positive charges there the next step is this plus minus making a bond so this thing already single bond is there this single bond is converted into double bond this plus and minus making your own bond so the single bond is called a double bond so this is called sigma pi conjugation this sigma pi conjugation so here here three here this positive charge next carbon is called alpha carbon this alpha carbon containing three alpha hydrogens are there so here here three hyper conjugates three hyper conjugates are there so in this compound three hyper conjugates are there so here first time one carbon bond breaking here also possible and here also possible so here three times of bond breaking so here three hyper conjugates are possible three hyper conjugates are possible how to calculate hyper conjugates means simple students you remember double sorry positive charge next carbon positive charge next carbon is called alpha carbon this alpha carbon containing alpha hydrogen these three are the alpha hydrogen so that's why these more number of alpha hydrogen are with the more number of alpha hydrogen are there that's called more number of hyper conjugates so hyper conjugates depends on number of alpha hydrogens more number of alpha hydrogens are there more hyper conjugates